it's very important in today's marketplace as a roaster to uh, make uh, conscious decisions about how you uh, choose your roasting profiles and of course how, how you choose your coffees uh, with that um, and you know nowadays we're confronted with a with a marketplace with consumers that are also getting more and more interested in specialty coffee but they're not necessarily becoming more educated and so um, taking dogmatic opinions about you know washed or natural and telling people that you can only um, select washed coffees that can prohibit consumers from becoming educated as well so roast profiling and the cho the choice of roast colors um, has been for a long time has been dominated by companies like uh, Pete's and Starbucks that were kind of the um, in the western part of uh, North America the, the pioneers of uh, the first wave of specialty and and those roasters obviously we see them um, um, now as more generic brands and um, I think the the average uh, consumer might look at Pete's or Starbucks um, as a kind of a, a trusted presence on the streets of uh, San Francisco or New York or wherever you are uh, but for especially the roaster especially a new wave uh, cafe owner roaster um, these older established brands might be something from from a prehistoric era of specialty coffee and and I think we live in an exciting time now where um, yeah, the players in the marketplace are daring to take uh, yeah, more daring positions with the coffees they have and how they roast them and how they brew them and how they present them to the clientele so as part of that we also need to um, attempt to to educate and re-educate consumers in order to make this pie of uh, coffee specialty coffee bigger for everyone